What is up guys, Johnny here. I'm back with some Shadowgun Legends. We have awesome news today. A legendary auto rifle has been found. A bunch of legendaries in the game has not been found or have not been found yet, but we just got a auto rifle finally. And watch until the end because I got a lot of info about that. So make sure you watch until the end. But without making you wait much longer, guys, this is the auto rifle that just been found about an hour ago. Nico's Stopper Legendary Auto Rifle 250 Power. So look at the stats if you mind or if you want to compare with your best auto rifle that you, you use right now. But 114 damage, 440 is the fire rate, 1.7 accuracy, 20 range, and 30 uh, bullets in the clip. But look at the perks, guys. It is not a joke. Everything all the damage perks are there seven percent damage we have we have extra damage to elite and 14 percent crit damage so this thing once you uh, unlock all the perks is going to be even better but on top of that double accuracy perks uh some pickup rages is pretty much everywhere pickup rages some guys think it's useful in pvp but it's more annoying than anything else uh in pve iron sight damage on top of that even more damage but yeah, damage, damage to elites, iron sight damage and crit damage, plus fire rate, plus accuracy. This is a sick, sick weapon right here. It's It has a custom paint job. Uh, we don't see that well, but there's some white, orange, and blue custom paint job. It looks amazing, but uh, if you guys want to see some gameplay of that later, I will link in the description. Uh, this guy here, I forgot to shout out, but hell no. Um, from the Discord on the Shadowgun Legend Discord, they just posted their uh, new new weapon couple like less than an hour ago. So uh, he's got a YouTube channel. He's gonna post some gameplay later tonight. So make sure you check his channel. All right. So here's the info, guys. All you need to know. First of all, no, it does not drop from the Voltaic Fist Dungeon. They found that weapon in Blade Dancer. Yes, the Blade Dancer Dungeon. So. Uh, I've been doubting for a little while that the Kira SMG was probably not the actual Blade Dancer Legendary drop because before the update, the Legendary drops from the specific dungeons was so low that probably nobody even found them yet. And like I said a lot today, I played the Voltaic Fist Dungeon 110 times before the update. Out of 100 plus dungeons, I found two blue items. That gives you an idea how many blues do you have to drop before you drop a purple, and then how many purples before you drop a legendary. It was almost impossible to drop one legendary or specific legendary from one of these dungeons. Now they, they up the drop rate. From the last update, since they updated, we've been running dungeons a lot. And almost every run will give you a blue or a purple, sometimes two purple, sometimes two blue. Not purple every time, but like very often, okay? More than once every two runs. We, we will go a couple straight runs with a purple, and we will go a couple straight runs without a purple. But that's just an indication the, the drop rate has been increased significantly. It is not even funny. It is crazy. So... I told you guys yesterday, we will start seeing these legendaries now. They will start to drop like crazy. So Nico Stopper, new legendary auto rifle. So that confirms that now we know there is a legendary auto rifle. And now we know it drops from the Blade Dancer. But watch out. There may be a bug or it might be bug. Nick, uh, Nico Stopper, like I just uh, had a chit chat with Helma on Discord. And he told me a couple things. First of all, they did run about 60 times the Blade Dancer since the update. There were 30 players, only one got the Legendary, so that is normal in my opinion. Everyone's got different drops when they end the, the, the dungeon. So only one player had the Legendary at the end. What he told me, he did not see the Legendary drop at the boss. He did not pick up the Legendary on the ground. When he was at the end screen, he did not see the legendary in the stack. But after that, the legendary was in his inventory. 
but his teammates at the end screen reward they saw the the crate stack and they saw helna had a legendary in the stack i also saw a screenshot of that so he did not see it himself he did he, he does not think he picked it up on the ground so that's another weird thing uh we might have more answers about that later maybe but just to tell you guys there's still some question marks around that legendary drop but i will keep farming voltaic fist actively tomorrow and the rest of the week uh i'm guessing probably you have to do about 100 runs maybe now to maybe hope to get a legendary but if you guys really want a legendary auto rifle that's the one we know now you should start farming blade dancer dungeon and hope we can confirm that soon that it really is the specific legendary for blade dancer if you want a great uh, guide for how to run the blade dancer make sure you check the description i will link my blade dancer guide again in the description so guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the short video make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on your notifications watch my other videos and check out helna's channel link in the description he will post some gameplay soon. Take care, guys.